Um, this is part two and what we're going to do is just quickly look at the communications okay um, it's quite a simple uh, uh, thing is this at the moment so uh, all of the videos are going to be quite short uh, just so that you can look at the objects individually and we can do one at a time rather than trying to overload um, you with too much information on one uh, video Okay, um, just to uh, go back on what we did, we opened up an empty project on the last video, on the introduction. Um, what I've done is I've saved as, and I've just saved it in my YouTube videos, and uh, named it YouTube WinCC HMI project. Okay, we'll save that. Uh, do we want to overwrite it? Yes, okay. So now we've got a, a saved project, and uh, uh, we're in no danger of losing it. Okay, what we're going to do first is um, we're just going to go to the communications, which you will find here on the left hand side. Um, and we'll go to connections. Double click your connections, and you will then be presented with this window. Now, this is empty because we didn't go through the wizard, uh, we just opened up an empty project uh, rather than going through the wizard. If you go through the wizard, this will all be done for you. Um, I'm just showing you the, the the longer way of going around it. So for starters, it's it's not very difficult. It's as simple as just double click into this first line, and it will add one connection line into you. Now mine comes up as connection three because it's uh, I've had another couple of connections in there, um, and I deleted them. So it's picked up the next available connection, um, and I can actually edit that. I can put the one in there if I wanted to. Okay, so what we've done is we've got a connection. Uh, it's picked up the fact that we are doing a, a 300, 400. You can choose uh, from a selection, Alan Bradley, Mitsubishi's, Omron's, or Somatics, uh, whether it's 200s or S5s. Uh, in our case it's a 300 so it's defaulted to a 300 and of course whether we want it online or offline um, we've got it on one let's just close that down because it's an awful big thing there and we'll open that up and you can put a comment in there just to say this is win uh, CC project for uh, let's say YouTube okay just a quick comment of what that's about. Obviously, you can have more HMIs connected to your system, so uh, you know you may just want to put a little comment in there to say what the connection is or what the type is, whatever you like. Okay, at the bottom here of the screen, you'll see that it's picked up that we had already selected a 67719 inch touch screen, and it's defaulted with an MPI or DP. Um, that's fine we can leave it at that if you select the Ethernet then of course you have to give the address that you want for the touch screen and you also have to give the address of your somatic station so you'll need the uh, somatic net uh, module connected to your PLC okay I'll be honest we use uh, the somatic net quite a lot but for this instance we'll just use the DPI as, uh, here. So uh, the settings as well you need to set up the board rate so if you're using MPI it's going to be uh, 187 kilobytes. Uh, the address you need to set up the address of that screen and the address of the station. Now uh, any of you cast your minds back or if you haven't seen the Siemens uh, S7 manager uh, videos that I made for the S7300. In some of the early videos I actually made mention that the PLC will come up as a default address as 2 and it comes up as a default address as 2 on the MPI and on the DP as well. Uh, Siemens always defaults that to 2 because and I said at the time on that video that HMIs will normally be one and your PC your laptop or your computer that's connected to the system 
uh, you will set up as address zero. So that is kind of your master on the system. So laptops and uh, connection devices such as laptops or desktops, etc., are default to zero address. MPI uh, for or DP for address on the HMI will default to one, and all of your PLCs default to two. And then what that does is it allows you to then use three, four, five, and upwards for any external devices such as DP couplers or I don't know um, uh, anything like inverters or anything else that you might be using at the time. Okay, the network uh, profile here is MPI, DP, standard or universal. Click to DP. Uh, you can then select a higher rate. You've got still your address as one and still the address under the PLC is two and number of masters is one. So we'll just go back to what we had. I feel that it's not of huge importance to try and create the fastest connection for an HMI. An HMI is at the end of the day uh, used by the operators of the equipment and it's never normally needed that it has to react very very fast. So I tend to keep things on uh, the low speed for HMIs. Um, so connecting it to an M MPI is fine. I don't see any uh, uh, real benefit of connect uh, connecting it to the Profibus. Although if you all you want is a Profibus network and not an MPI network, then you may want to do that. But I don't think there's any advantage speed-wise of doing that. So going back to this we've now set up we've set it up as online which is our access point um, we've got it under somatic we've set the address and we've set the board rate we've chosen the profile of the network to be MPI um, this is only uh, for searching purposes when it's initially connected it will only go as high as address 31 to check to see if there's anything else on the line and we've set up and we've got our station which is set up to the address of two if you have changed the address in the PLC to something different other than two then obviously that needs to be the same as your PLC okay so we'll just save it and there we go there's our connection done all right so I hope that was helpful and we will we'll start on the next video by uh, looking at the screens and how to add um, components to your screens and add more screens as necessary all right uh, if you like the video uh, look for you to uh, subscribe and uh, any comments please leave uh, uh, please leave them on the uh, on the site and uh, I look forward to uh, the next uh, next installment uh, of this Wednesday